In 1945, in a secret laboratory in Los Alamos, scientists built a sphere of plutonium, small enough to hold in your hands, powerful enough to end a city. They called it the Core, but soon it would earn another name, the Demon Core. It was meant to be the heart of a third atomic bomb, the one that never dropped. Instead, it became something else, a warning written in radiation. The first death came quietly. Physicist Harry Daglian was alone, stacking tungsten bricks around the core to test its critical mass. One brick slipped. The room flashed blue. In that instant, he knew he was already dead. He died weeks later, his body burned from the inside out. They called it a tragic accident. Then, nine months later, it happened again. Louis Sloten, another scientist, was demonstrating a safe experiment. A screwdriver holding two halves of a neutron reflector apart. The tool slipped, the halves touched, another blue flash. Everyone in the room saw it, a ghostly light that lasted less than a second. Sloten calmly told his team to step back. He died nine days later, and the Corps glowed in storage, waiting for its next victim. They say the sphere was finally melted down in 1946, but some whisper that fragments were reused, buried in later weapons tests, that the curse of the Demon Core lived on, not in myth, but in the atoms we split to this day. This was no monster, no ghost, just curiosity and the price of touching power we were never meant to hold.